Chris Kidd's baby mama, Shola, once again has packed another beef, uh, which is about to brew, but of course with a cryptic sign uh, that she actually has been posting on her IG page. Well, this comes shortly after. Uh, the alle allegation of Chris Kidd not taking care of uh, his first child sparked on social media. Of course, blogs were writing about it, but she, in a cryptic post posted recently on her IG page, is saying that, well, for some time now, she's been quiet, but it's only been God that actually uh, has been sustaining her, but she only has one message uh, for the fans who have been asking her where uh, she's been and why. Uh, some time back, she was actually calling or, or spitting a lot. Bear in mind also that sometime uh, back in 2016, there were a lot of reportage about uh, the hiatus that was actually ensuing between Whiskey's baby mama, Shola, and Whiskey himself. A lot of uh, things were spilled out. Informations were just insane over there. But this time, Shola is back again with some Adam, uh, let me just say, subtle jab to some fans of Whiskey Camp. But we'll put that on your screens very shortly uh, so we can actually see exactly what Shola has been speaking about. So that's her recent tweet uh, that has sparked another con uh, you know, conversation uh, about whether or not she's about to spill more tea about Whiskey. But we will get that into a bit. So this is the tweet she said. My secret is, I do what works for me, I don't bother a soul, I don't compare, I don't copy, I don't watch and I couldn't care less about anyone's perception of me. I genuinely support others, uh, unless you show me you're not deserving. I'm always in my own lane, riding my own wave, with my eyes on my own price. So this is the, uh, the wild post that Shola recently posted. Now, uh, I don't want to believe that Shola is actually coming up again with an explosive conversation about the whole baby saga, uh, baby daddy saga, uh, that actually brewed up some back, uh, some time back in 2016. Now, bear in mind that in that particular expo uh, expose, where Shola first, uh, you know, went so wild on uh, Westgate, calling me out, in fact, there were screenshots of WhatsApp messages that she even brought out. And in that uh, screenshot, the first thing that she said was that when she uh, was actually pregnant for Whiskey, the first thing that she did was to tell Whiskey about it. But families of Whiskey were so not happy about the news and asked Shola to go and terminate the baby. Well, she said no, she was not going to terminate the baby. And of course, in the course of that, she prolonged, uh, you know, on having or proceeded to, to have the baby. Now, even after she conceived, Whiskey was not in part of uh, you know the system of actually being uh, like the, the 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 real father uh, to 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 their son uh, who unfortunately has grown now to become a very uh, good looking you know uh, guy maybe if you get the picture of the little boy maybe one day we can just project him on the screens but yeah uh, that was what or the first thing that Shola uh, said during that explosive uh, conversation of actually spitting a lot between herself and Whiskey. Now, the second thing that she said that got people's attention uh, was the fact that she said that at a point, Whiskey, uh, you know, wanted her to travel away so far from the Nigerian continent because she just didn't understand why Whiskey was doing that. But for Whiskey, the only thing uh, he wanted was the fact that Shola should just get away with the baby because she she just didn't understand what was happening. But according to Whiskey, and of course what Shola is saying, uh, you know, Whiskey just couldn't believe that the baby is 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 his. And so she asked Shola to do a DNA test. And even after the DNA test popped up, it was 99.9% uh, Whiskey's child. But he still denied and said that the baby is not for him. Now, that aside, that's point two, right? Now, point three. Shola went on to say that Whiskey at a point questioned the sexuality of their biological child, asking Shola if the child is gay. Well, on the phone call, Shola once said, and of course, that is... Um, <clears throat> Sorry, guys, the explosive uh, details that happened in 2016, that's what people were asking, that is she about to actually bring out another explosive conversation again with her latest tweet? Now, let me just revert at what I was trying to say. So she said um, there was a time where Whiskey uh, called, uh, I think that was when this uh, late, this guy was celebrating uh, his either 12th birthday or so, and Whiskey called, and you know he was like, is this child gay or something? Because according to Whiskey, he just could not see something right about what the child was do it and so at a point Whiskey asked the child to come straight to his house and that was when according to Sholam Whiskey started uh <clears throat> 
allowed uh, the uh, minor child to be touching uh, housemates' boobs and, you know, breasts and all of that. This is allegations, uh, you know, Shola was making uh, during that explosive content. That was what she said, that uh, Whisket apparently doubted the sexuality of the child. And at a point, she actually uh, had the boy to be touching adults, you know, body parts just to confirm if he's into ladies or you know he's into guys aside from that shola also alleged that whisked actually packed some hot drags into uh, the backpack of their child now all these things happened somewhere in 2016 the drama thing started you know brewing up in 2014 or 2016 and that actually got them to cancel the um our relationship so this cryptic sign that she has finally posted again a lot of fans want to know if she's about to spill a lot of tea because for some time now and i think in march also the guy celebrated um um his birthday i'm not so sure exactly what exactly, uh, you know, the, 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 the day was apparently, but, you know, it was quite very interesting. Uh, the poor boy celebrated her mom, uh, his mom instead of uh, celebrating him his, his own self. And uh, he was actually expressing how very fortunate he is uh, to have had a mom like Shola. But unfortunately, Whiskey didn't celebrate the child. And so are we actually going to witness another baby, you know, mama saga, just as it happened with Davido and other, other baby mama issue? Uh, I don't want to believe that's the reason thing we're about to experience but seriously according to what shola has said in some time back uh whiskey has never been part of your first child's life you know um whiskey has just been a bad father and at a point also shola also alleged that Whiskey had a tattoo of their child at his back, but it was just for publicity, uh, you know, sake because he wanted fans to know that he's a good uh, father and that he's part or, or he's been part of their kid's life, uh, his kid's life, and that was what he uh, had to do as a father. But justifying what uh, Shola said or justifying what uh, Shola said, it, it actually was for showbiz purposes because fans were calling him to do the needful, and quickly he went to do a baby tattoo. Uh, that's their kid's tattoo at his back but definitely according to what Shola is saying it looks like Whiskey has never been part of their kids' life so what actually is informing uh, Shola's recent post um, fans are saying that we should expect some you know um, blow you know on, on, on the way coming because if she's been able to receive um, all these allegations threat from the, the camp of uh, Whiskey's team Yet she's been able to still, uh, you know, cater for the poor child. I don't know if Whiskey has been part of the kid's life after the drama in 2016, uh, but definitely I'm sure he's done the needful because the lady has gone to do a paternity test, which has confirmed the 99.9% .9 it is real that a child is for Whiskey. Then again, uh, Shola has also said that uh, Whiskey has not even been paying child support. But I mean, really, uh, I mean, it's it's been very long uh, and. <laughs> Well, Shana really has endured a lot, but I don't want to put myself in her shoes. I don't really know which of these two is speaking the truth. Uh, you know, things like this, you don't have to take sides. You only have to just watch and see how the story is unfolding so you can actually know exactly who is telling the truth. But until I uh, will know what risk it is about to say or will say about it, well, guys, we're actually going to bring you more just about it. But for now, Shola is saying that she envies nobody. She's always in her lane. Uh, she just doesn't care what people think or say about her. She's always minding her business. But unfortunately, we know how she rolls when people or somebody steps on her toes. So that's it uh, for Shola and of course the camp of Whiskey or the baddest uh, group of the team. Well guys, let's know what you think about him inside the comment section.